Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a Profinet configuration using the VIPA Speed 7 Profinet CPU and the VIPA Leo Profinet I.O. system. In this case I'm going to use this Theoportal version 11 from Siemens to make the configuration. So let's start this program. As in step 7 I will have to create a small project to make this configuration. And for creating this project I will need to know what CPU type I need to select. Now while Siemens is starting the TIA portal I will go to the VIPA homepage and select the correct manual to see what CPU I need to configure. I go to control system 300S and I will find 317 PN from VIPA it's this one and in the hardware configuration I can see that it's exactly this one I need to select so let's go to my project create new project maybe we can call this VIPA Profinet Something else I need is the GSD file for my Sleo I.O. system. Now you can find this GSD file also on the VIPA homepage using server support and then downloads and then Profinet files you can find it over here. So as you save this pro this file on your desktop, I've already done it and then on your desktop you can extract this file to a folder like I've done here okay so I have created an empty project and now I need to configure my project configure a device I'll add a new device And I'll select the CPU I found in the manual, so it's a 317 PN, it's the EK13 version 2.6, exactly this one. Press Alt. Now I do not find any other devices over here so I have to go inside of the project view to install the Slio I.O. system. Now, the first thing to do is install the GSD file. You can do this over here. Install general station description file. And you go to the folder on your desktop where you have downloaded and unzipped it. And then you can install this. Now, I have done this already. And I just want to tell you, if you do this, then the Tia Portal will I have to close, we'll have to restart it, and then you can continue your configuration. So, on this already for you. 
Once the GSD file is installed, you can find our SLEO coupler within additional other fields, devices, Profinet I.O. I should be able to see it over here. <laughs> Network view, other field devices, Profinet I.O. I.O. There we are. Okay, can double click this one and then I can make a connection like this. Double click this one and in here I can do the name setting. Now um, I can do the name setting of the SLEO coupler using uh, dip switches or I can use it through the Ethernet. Giving it a name I will go for dip switches again and select one. And then of course I need to configure my Profinet device. I have two digital input modules. will be the 1BF00 and 1BD00. I have a digital output module. here because you have to select of course the right one that you're using and then we have a did an analog input module analog in one BB30 that I didn't enter any IP addresses so they are giving automatically. Now I go to the PLC, make a small program block. So I can see uh, value changing on my output. I can change the programming language over here, right mouse button, on this OV1 and switch to the SDL. Load my output byte 0, increase it with 1, and transfer it back to my output byte 0. save my project and then I will try to download it to the PLC. I have to select the interface. In this case it will be this one. Now it's looking for That's 
the one load Byte. Output byte zero. And I start checking this one. It's online and the value is changing. So here I can also stop the PLC. I actually can go to online di and diagnostics. And where you see this line, this orange line, you know that you have a connection, an online connection to the PLC. Okay, go back offline. You might want to save your project. about it. Thank you for what 